be careful with what you call friend. Just a perspective from a U.S. Marine. I'm listening to the Jocko podcast and it's... Um, It's enlightening, enlightening, to put it lightly. But I also think that it's, uh, it's, it's pretty obvious. You know, what, what someone will do for uh, someone who's part of the team's the Navy SEAL Team, SEAL Team 1, I think he was with. And when he joined the Marine Corps, man, it, you would think, yeah, just a jab, hold a rifle, all right, stay together, don't get killed. That's it. You would think that that, uh, from a civilian point of view, that'd be it, right? You see a war face. But it's, uh, it, it's more than that. I think she should do a line like that. And when, when I'm hearing Jocko's podcast of just um, men being warriors and taking care of the mission, and then men, it's, um, it, no, it does make me tear up. Um, it does make my, um, it does make my, I do shed tears when I hear this because, Cause I miss that. I, I miss that so much. It's beautiful to be to be with a unit. To be with people that want to make it happen. Even though um, it's the same thing as this. Even uh, no, I really don't know what to, what to say about this subject because that was just a quick thought. But I know that I, I need to dissect it. You know who, who I call friend. People think that because I shake your hand, you're my friend. No. You could be a client. You could be a, an acquaintance. Should you could even be a fucking snake. I was speaking about earlier uh, today. I'm just trying to keep my distance or handle you. So I know you're out. You think you have the upper hand on me. I think there's just so, so many people either with with good intentions and big hearts that they'll say, oh, well, look, that person bought me lunch. We're buddies. Oh, look, we went to the first grade together. We went to kindergarten together. That means we're BFFs. Oh, the kid was my neighbor. Oh, that means we're BFFs. Oh, man, we like the same football team. That means we're BFFs.
and in the Marine Corps, there's, there's a lot of tough love on there. Oh man, I got teased. <laughs> I got teased um, uh, heavily in there. And I deserved it. Uh, we all deserve getting teased on there. You know, help with our, uh, help, help keep you buried there, double dog. I make sure we, we learned that those were just words. No, there are pieces of shit out there that uh, <laughs> will use their rank to amplify those words and um, and be a supreme asshole. Fuck those motherfuckers. Don't worry, those motherfuckers when they when they retire, I'm like, yeah, hey, all right, cool, see you later. All right, cool, all right, see you later. Versus. Change the color on this. Where's someone who's um who's genuine, man, and hold on, I'm thinking about this green right here. Now there there are just rotten motherfuckers um in so many places, but there are um. Yeah, some people, I think, what do we call them, the 10% <laughs> in the Marine Corps? Those motherfuckers that just slipped through the cracks and were like, oh my fucking god, man. He got through. You know, but I, th I think of some of my boys, man, my men that, that were in there and, man. I think, man, what what if I had uh, so and so here and so and so helping and distributing, promoting, networking as an A driver, coming out know, with this and that. Oh, I know, maybe this old dog has, uh, and this motherfucker knows a lot, so I know this fucker has a lot of information, a lot of insight for me. And, um, and and I don't have that, but that doesn't mean oh my goodness I don't have them I quit, <laughs> fuck that no it means you know it's a small world, and in America with profits saving up the internet, uh, you can team up again. You can make shit happen, man. And what what am I gonna say when I meet them again? Team up again. Oh man, you see, I really wanted to do this, but you know, I wanted to quit. They'd be like, "Devil dog, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's not you. It's all these civilian fucks. All these fucks that you call friends that are fucking pussifying you. Stop it." It's simple as that. Stop it. Roger that. And, uh, um, you know, with, with this video, uh, I don't know what brought you on here, you know, me talking shit or can't, you can't smell my coffee breath. Thankful for, uh, thanks, um, I think we're both thankful for that. We are both thankful for that we're trying or shit talking or, or whatever but I'm pretty sure the similarities we have is we can both get headaches and we both have things to do and I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm guessing here tell me if I'm wrong that we both want less headaches and take care more of our, take care of more of our shit. I'm guessing that, right? And there's so many people that are toxic that like, and, and remain in our lives because we're like, no, you don't understand. They got, we got history, bro. Like I said, first grade together, we fucking hung out together as kids. Not where, he's good, man. 
He's good to go, man. He's, he's my buddy. And, uh, and I think I could set you up for failure. You know how many stupid fucks have told me, hey, let's go smoke some meth. You want a lime? Some coke? Nah, fool. Why do you want to do that, man? Let's just smoke weed. Let's just fuck all these bitches here. In that case, I'd be like, oh, let me get a quick fuck and let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. There are dudes that, you know, Well, uh, tell you, hey, let's just take the easiest route, man. Come on. Don't be so lame. What are you, a chicken? Puck, 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 puck. <laughs> I'm trying to think what fucking movie had the uh, classic uh, pure pressure like that. And, P and P some people will say, yeah, you know what, no, they're right, you know, because that's my friend, and obviously, friends care about you. Obviously, friends want the best for you. Of course they're right. Why should I do that? Why should I keep on dreaming, keep on studying, keep on working out? Um, pursue my goals. Want to become more. Leave the hood. Um, what is this shit? I don't know. Im improve your life, make a difference, make a difference to in other people's lives. Believe that you could, that you can do it. You know, it, it took me a while to shake off motherfuckers like that because I, honestly I did think, oh, you know what, I got history with them. I right, went to high school together. It's cool, you know. But it's, uh, overall it's, I believe when someone doesn't mention about the value of certain relationships, you'll choose the relationship that makes you feel more comfortable. Not more not more love, not more revealing. Not a relationship not relationships that pursue the truth, but the one that's most comfortable. And that's the danger. Being comfortable can be dangerous. What if I um, had chose to just hang out with a bunch of fat fucks who just want to smoke weed, eat cheeseburgers, and work at Walmart? I'd probably be diabetic. No art collection. No world travels. No fan base. And I'd be say, oh, what day is it? Oh, it's Tuesday. Oh my god, it's Tuesday. Oh my goodness, it's not even lunch on Tuesday. <sighs> oh, man. Are we getting paid this week? Oh no, next week. Oh no. Uh, they're probably going to call me in. Halloween's coming up. I don't want to stock all that shit. Did you see that new movie, It? And, um, no, for me, no, fuck that. <laughs> no. No, why would you want an early entry into hell? <laughs> into a self-made hell. Why? I don't, uh, I don't understand that at all.
what color should I make this jar here? Brown. I think for some people it's it's gonna be a gut check time. You know, some of you're gonna say, "Man, what? Why is it that what I'm hearing <laughs> making me feel uncomfortable?" You know, there's people that I've had in my life that I've had uh, good times with. And I thought, you know what, if I keep hanging out with this motherfucker or keep uh, this motherfucker along my journey, it, it will, not maybe, it will end up in a uh, crash and burn scenario. Do you want that? Nah. No, you don't. I don't think you do. to make the jar. This lighter color. No, that's too light. I think the solution as simple as this is what I'm doing is saying, you know, you know what? This is where I want to go in life. And I've got to make it happen. I've got to make it happen. I've got to make it happen. And again, I could, um, the other color I should have on there. And that, uh, yeah, no doubt I could feel, um, I could get into a negative state and be like, oh my goodness, you know what? What have I done? I don't have the homies here, man. Maybe I should give them a chance. I'm getting bored. I'm getting bored. I need someone to talk to. I need to, um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think how I would think if I, how to have those weak thoughts, those old weak thoughts that I used to have. Not to sound too callous, but uh, no, I do enjoy a great company, genuine company. Um, people that focus on the moment. People that says, "Oh shit, man, I come from um, a bunch of bad decisions. Let's stop making those." Not. Um, Oh man, look what's already happened. What's the point? I'm thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> no.
I think by drawing drawing in this moment. You'll you'll just get caught up in in making it happen. Right now I'm just like, yeah I'm I'm, I'm one stroke one stroke closer to uh, creating a bigger collection, a quality collection of work. Let me just keep on going, keep on going. What's the worst case scenario? I did a bunch of hard quality work and shared it and was genuine. Oh no. What a waste. I should have uh, hung up with the homies and just uh, smoked crack, smoked meth. Again, no excuses, go forward, make it happen.